So the question of the lapsed customer is, it's really interesting. It's what we spent uh, our time writing our thesis on. A lot of companies have definitions for what they consider to be a, an inactive or lapsed or lost customer. It, we've heard anything from as low as six months to three, four, five years. What we found though is that uh, those decisions aren't necessarily data driven. So a lot of it relies on um, third party data or survey data or just anecdotal evidence from the company. And what we found is that each individual person actually has their own definition of lapsed, right? So instead of giving a, a broad cut of saying our customer base after 12 months of not buying, we consider them lapsed, actually it's individual. And that's one of the algorithms that we built is actually identifying individual definition of lapsed. The reality is a lot of companies after they consider someone lapsed, they won't really put many resources towards bringing them back, right? So Maybe they'll send an email once in a while, but generally they consider them lost customers. So what we're doing is actually creating a lot of incremental revenue for the companies because instead of going out and spending all their budget on acquiring new customers, they're going after people that have already had an experience with that company, whether they use the service or bought the product. So they're actually knowing when to ask them to come back and what to offer them is huge because you know, with one, with one touch, they can actually bring someone back who's been gone, and that person who comes back actually statistically is more profitable than a new, a new customer. Lapsed customers actually have a lot more data than new customers, right? Because a new customer is still a prospect. It's still somebody that hasn't interacted with your specific company yet. What's amazing about lapsed customers is they've already had that experience, right? It's almost like an elevated version of retargeting. It's not that just somebody visited your website, they bought and you can see all the actions associated with that. And that's the basis for our algorithms and that's why they're so powerful.